Well, hello there. What's going on? Welcome to the Hot Green Channel once again. This video is about my dragon fruit right here. Um, as y'all can see, I got it on a on a weird looking trellis. Y'all can see that right there. And I have this one right here. And uh, I have this one over here. And these haven't been in the ground too long, guys. Uh, maybe about a year. I think this is the second. This is the second winter, so going on two two years, two seasons. If y'all do hear me mention something about the, anything around here hasn't been uh, in the ground too long, that's because I've only been well. In July, it'll be two years. I haven't been here long. Uh, we were out in the country, and then uh, Harvey happened, so we kind of decided to move <clears throat> from that area. But yeah, guys. So this is my dragon fruit right here. And y'all can see it's doing pretty good. Now, one thing I will mention to y'all, uh, if y'all can see that right there, all this. Now, that was my mistake. For anybody who's familiar with the Houston area, we have a fire ant problem. Bad fire ant problem. Ants everywhere. And they usually tend to to, to nest where your tree, for where your fruit trees are, where your vegetables are where your pots are. Those are the places they love. And one thing about me, I hate putting ant poison down, so so I don't. I just do, I try to deal with it in other ways. And one of the ways that I dealt with it last last year was the wrong way. <laughs> so I had a ant pile right there and it's still there. I just leave it alone. But what, what, what was going on was the ants was coming up here and they were, they were eating away at this right here and going inside. And I noticed that. So, what I did was I got some uh, dishwashing soap in a spray bottle with water and I started spraying this whole sucker down. Well, yeah, it does good in killing the ants immediately, but it also damaged my plant immediately. So Y'all can see. See that, all of that? It killed all the green flesh. All of that right there. Now, now this didn't kill the plant, as y'all can see. See? I guess there's still life going in through here, right here. Because look at that, that's green. All of that's green. And uh, same thing with, well, yeah, with this one also. If y'all can see, it's green down there, and then it's just a twig right here. Just a twig, and then it comes back green right there. So, yeah, it didn't kill it, but it did damage it. And, you know, it don't, it don't, it don't look as good. Uh, so just wanted to share that other tip with y'all. Do not spray soap water on this. And if y'all do, uh, within minutes, brush it off with or wash it off with the with the with the water hose. Don't leave that soap on there, cause it will kill your your plants. Same thing with this one. I have another one right here. This one's even younger. Uh, I did the same thing with this one. Sprayed soap water, and it didn't it didn't do it good. It didn't like it. But yeah, guys, just another tip right here. Uh, what not to do don't do what I do <laughs> learn from my mistakes but yeah so this is the dragon fruit I'm not sure what kind it is I know it's a red one with uh, white flesh is what the the nursery told me but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be uh, I have a lot of yellow yellow dragon fruit seedlings that I I showed you on another past video and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be grafting onto them like for example right here on this one I'm gonna be grafting onto that one and a bunch of these new shoots right here. I'm gonna be grafting onto them, and that way I got the mature rootstock right here, the vine, with some uh, with some yellow uh, dragon fruit seedlings, and hopefully I can get the uh, the fruit production on them way sooner, <clears throat> like this season or next maybe. But yeah, so another tip for y'all guys: just don't do what I do. See y'all later. Stay safe. 